Fun's over. I've got Mother Nature looking ugly on my long-range scanner. We better move if we're gonna beat this weather system and rendezvous with the others by tomorrow. Just point me and try to stay close. We've gotta land. But where? Looks like it's gonna be here. Go to infrared. Maybe we can make out the terrain below. Solid rocket, 12 o'clock. You're not gonna make it. Whoa! I almost got caught between a rock and a hard place. Hang on, we're going down the hard way. Mayday, Mayday. This is Lance, can anyone read me? Hello? Come in, anyone, Reed, Luke, Shelly, anybody. Ah, the power cells just packed it in. Toss me that bag, I've got some spares. Forget it, you've been trying for over five hours. You're nearly frozen, man. Reed's not expecting us for another day. No one's gonna be looking for us. If we stay here, we'll never make it. We gotta try and walk out. I'll activate the locator beacon on the sky bike and we can get moving. You're gonna be able to make it, pal? Ugh. Just point me and try to stay close. I'm okay. I bet when we get to the top of this ridge, we're gonna see a town. Hotels, hot tubs. The works. Must be just over the next mountain. Yeah. Oh, oh! Ah. Hang on! Oh. <sighs> Gotta keep moving. Landing, Shell, you're picking this up fast. Thanks, I had a good teacher. We've got a little mission in the mountains here. With any luck, we should be finished by the time Lance and Trip arrive. What are we up against? Information's sketchy, but something has been driving people out of this village. We're talking old-fashioned bug hunt, right? Emacs on? Actually, an old-fashioned dig. Let's move. I can't believe we have to do this. You've got to open it before you go through it. But that door was open. I'm positive. Rain. Just what we need. Actually, what I really need is a pair of boots that don't leak. I'd like you to meet Mohan, the owner of the Come June Tavern, and the last person left in town. Hello. I have brought you coffee. Found anything? Mud. Keep at it. I'm going to take some readings around town. I'm sensing something. Very faint, but it's here. Uh. What? Ah! Yuck! What's with these? What's going on? Uh, where are we? I'm working on it. I know. Look. You guys real fond of wolves, huh? 
I guess that must make you the leader of the pack. What's she doing? Fitting us for hats? They are not of the Kaliaka. They are outsiders. There has been a misunderstanding here. Actually, there is no understanding here. Who are you people? I am Kali, and this is Yashan. You are in the monastery of the Order of the Brotherhood. You may take shelter from the storm, but while in the Brotherhood, two rules must be observed. First, we do not permit the carrying of weapons. I shall hold yours for safekeeping. So what's rule two? <laughs> Confined to our rooms? Nuts! What's down there? The staff lounge? Hey! Someone's in trouble down there! Come on! You gotta check it out! I guess this kind of stuff happens here all the time. Hey, check this out. Is it the guy from the hall? Could be. Well, I want some answers. Huh? Too strong, even for me. You know, I don't think we're guests here. I think we're prisoners. Welcome to the modernized Kamjun Tavern. I have just enclosed this area to make an exciting disco dancing floor. I could crank the tunes? Thanks. Maybe later. All the readings I've gathered check out completely normal. Well, something abnormal just happened to us. I sensed something when we were out there. It was weak, but... What is it? Don't know, but it's right outside the front door. Emacs on! Now you should see him first thing in the morning. Uh, what is it? Yeti. What's a Yeti? It's like a Sasquatch. Stand back. Gotta do something to help that poor guy. If anyone's looking for me, tell him I stepped out for a breath of fresh air. Uh oh. you some Tibetan black tea. Thanks. Just leave my friend's cup here. We don't want to wake him. He's a real grouch when he gets woken up. Ah! Your arm should be attended to. Free me! Who is that guy? What did he do? Kaliaga. just disappeared off the screen. There's something strange about this Yeti. I'm picking something up from behind those rocks. I think things are about to heat up. Look out! It's gone! 
Anyone notice something? Mud baths don't do a thing for my complexion? We're not on fire. Those flames had no heat. That should provide better support. Thanks. No! Yashan, leave. I do not like to shout, but I see your friend does not appear to mind. He sleeps too well. Your presence here is no accident. You have come to free him, haven't you? Where's the lock? Oh, real high security. Uh-oh. Time to call for backup. Come on, work! Oh, yeah, we drain the power cells. New cells, where are you? Shelly, Luke, code double red. Location unknown. Locator beacon activated. Gotta send it. Repeat maximum range and hope for the best. Come quick, guys. Put that device down, please. Not in this lifetime. Since your purpose here is obvious, you shall be treated as the Kalyaga. You can't do this! Learn to accept your fate. You will not be leaving us again. Open up! Open! We're stuck here. Hello? Are you there? You think it's room service? Hello. Pleased to make your acquaintance, strangers. This old guy's what all the fuss is about? It's not a creature we're dealing with here. It's a poltergeist. You mean a spirit? Exactly. What we've been seeing is all trickery. This poltergeist has been trying to scare us away. Why? That's what we've got to find out. And the only way is to trap it and make it change into its real form. Snake in the box. We've got to talk to Mohan. He may know what we've got here. Why did they lock you in here? I don't know. They have never told me. But I remember the day they captured me. I was making my way across the canyon of the Crescent Moon. I suppose I must have trespassed into their territory. I'm tired. Must rest. Poor old guy. We gotta get him out of here. Any ideas? Don't we need a compad with that? Nope. Just a few parts from your watch. Hey! And a bit of luck. <laughs> Compad, freeze image. Oh my. Enhance and enlarge. The Bargy. Bargy? Who is that? It is not a person, but an ancient group my ancestors created. They were given the duty of watchers for this village. What were they watching for? Invading armies. We had many back then. They were to ring that bell and warn the people. I am afraid this is all my fault. How? 
I have blocked the Baji's view. This tavern has been a gathering place for years. The Baji must be allowed to see, but I wanted to modernize. I guess my customers will just have to do without the disco dancing. Tough break. <laughs> Let's move, people! If there's enough juice left in this power cell, it should work. What's going on? What are you doing? Busting out. Escape? How? The metal in these bars is quench tempered. If we run a current through them and heat them up, they'll become softer and weaken. A little concentration, and boom! I can knock him out. Try now! You are strong! You did it! Let's get out of here! Wait! Let me out! Free me! Hang on! This door's a joke you could have easily have got. It's stronger than it looks, and I'm a tired old man. Come, you must open this door, too! It's not locked. Open it and free me now! No! Don't do it! Fools! shall be punished for coming here and releasing this messenger of evil. But we thought he was an old man and you were the bad guys. Silence. We have fought and destroyed werewolves for centuries. These demons cannot open any door that bears the mark of the Brotherhood. But you broke out and did the beast's bidding. No, he tricked us. How did you find out he was a werewolf? Yeshan, she has the gift, the power to see the beast no matter how clever his disguise. And now she is gone. Maybe not. Maybe everything the werewolf told us wasn't a lie. Is there a place called the Canyon of the Crescent Moon? Yes. I bet that's where he's headed. We could still get Yeshan back. What a mess! Hello. I must speak to your leader. I'm Reed Crowley. Who are you? You getting a fix on this? Got it. Punch those engines. I will come with you in your machine and show you the canyon. Around that mountain is the canyon of the Crescent Moon. The beast heads for the canyon. We must stop him before he reaches it or he will vanish in the rocks. Emacs on! We've got unstable conditions on the snow down there. We can only make one pass or our engines could trigger an avalanche. Make the first one count! Here he comes! Stand by! He's giving up the kid! I do not think so. This beast is powerful and very cunning. Bella! That werewolf's Bella! You know this creature? He attacked my grandfather. He's the one who began my family's curse. You carry the curse, but you are not a beast? I can control it. Well, sometimes. They're in trouble. We gotta go back. I've set the plane to automatically land. destroyed the beast, and the curse on you would have been gone. I've always thought I would do anything, pay anything, to have it lifted from around my neck. But you chose to save me. That's right. You see, for the first time I realized, well, 
Some things just aren't worth the price. Hey, you made it to the end of the episode. That's awesome. If you like our videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're in a position to help out the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. Be sure to check out our Facebook page where you can keep up to date with us. And go ahead and watch another episode of your favorite nostalgic cartoons right here at the Cartoon Vault.